In the early days of the investigation, Brad Heath sounded the horn on the Monon High Bridge, literally calling for answers in Delphi. It's what this community has done for more than five years, never giving up on finding out what happened to Libby German and Abby Williams. In fact, in 2019, Heath was at it again. And they go all over the country. Sharing flyers about the murders, pictures of the suspect in his business's online orders. It only takes one flyer in the right hands that might get a tip to crack the case. You ready, sir? All right, you're ready. Sharing memories of the girls with special events in their memory happened often over the years. Oh my God, it's too much stuff. I can't fit it all in. Including during the holidays with gifts donated for children in need through Abby's Angels, a mission started by Abby's mom, Anna Williams. And this was a project that Abby and I did together, and she really enjoyed it. So it was just kind of something important to me to keep doing in the future in her honor. There were also food drives in Delphi as recently as this winter, and during that first summer after their deaths, 50 teams came out to play Abby and Libby's favorite sport, a softball tournament in their honor. There is now a memorial park with softball fields and picnic shelters in the girls' names off Hoosier Heartland Highway. Concerts and other fundraisers made it happen and made sure these friends were never forgotten, all from a community that never doubted justice would come one day too.